ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு டாக்டர் சாம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆட்மி கிளாஸஸ் யூ ஆல் மஸ்ட் பி அவேர் ஆஃப் திஸ் நியூ மெடிக்கல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி இன் உத்தர் பிரதேஷ் தட்ஸ் அடல் பிஹாரி வாஜ்பாய் மெடிக்கல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி லக்னோ அண்ட் டு மை நாலேஜ் ஆல் த நியூ கவர்மெண்ட் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் தி ஆட்டோனோமஸ் ஸ்டேட் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் ஆர் அஃபிலியேட்டட் டு திஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த ப்ரைவேட் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆர் லிங்க்ட் டு திஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி and soon more colleges will be linked to this university in future so it's a well planned university and it's going to encompass all the medical colleges in uttar pradesh so that you guys you medical students can have a fair genuine exams and all medical students can be scanned on a single platform for the cumulative examination that's the university or the professional examinations so the idea is good and i wish that this university makes good rules and regulations for the betterment of medical students so after searching a lot everywhere i am able to gather only one set of question paper from this university and that's of last year means this question paper i have collected is of mbbs 2020 batch which appeared for exam in 21 and this presumably is the first question paper of this university when i think there were less of colleges affiliated to this university earlier last year so the question paper pattern i'm showing you here is of atal bihari vajpayee medical university of uttar pradesh and this is anatomy question paper 1 which had two parts part 1 and part 2 this is part 1 and and this is anatomy paper 1 part 2 this is anatomy paper 2 part 1 this is anatomy paper 2 part 2 so this exam was conducted in two days both the days you had 100 marks question paper paper 1 part 1 50 marks then part 2 50 marks similarly was the second day anatomy paper with part 1 and part 2 both 50 marks that makes 200 marks of anatomy question paper to be attempted in 2 days the pattern is somewhat similar in all the four subsets of this question paper this is the first question you are seeing this is of 20 marks this may be a long structured question or maybe a clinical question with sub parts together it will be calculated as a 20 marks question next it was question number 2 which had four sub parts on which you had to write briefly and this was a five marks each that again makes it a question of 20 marks so 20 plus 20 is 40 and the remaining 10 marks was for mcqs in each subset so that's how it was been divided into four parts part 1 2 3 and 4 each of them was 50 marks 20 20 and 10 but now this year onwards 2022 onwards means we talking is about for mbbs 2021 batch onwards this question paper is going to framed a little bit differently as to my knowledge this time your question paper will be broken up into the same you know all four parts each of them will be of 50 marks the new pattern i'm writing over here from now onwards from 21 batch onwards it will be question number 1 will be a long question maybe a clinical or maybe a structured long question that will be of 15 marks it may include the relevant embryology and relevant histology as well then question number 2 this will be about the short notes on which you will have to describe briefly in maximum 500 words short question with around 500 words you'll have to write this answer in maximum 500 words and such questions will be three in number five marks for each this again will make 15 marks question question number 3 will be ultra short questions five in numbers and two marks for each so in this question you will have to write in maximum 100 words so that makes it five questions of two marks each makes it a 10 mark question question number 4 will be of mcqs and you know 
each MCQ is of one mark and there will be 10 MCQs. So that makes it 1 into 10 is equal to 10. So that's how your new question paper pattern from MBBS 2021 batch under Atal Bihari Vajpayee Medical University. This pattern will be followed from now onwards and each set of question paper will have four questions, 15, 15, 10 and 10 marks questions, right? And the syllabus distribution is as usual as in most of the universities, paper one, part one and part two will not be like that have not been categorized but paper one will include you know head and neck brain that's neuroanatomy and upper limbs that's from the gross portion then general neurology general histology general anatomy and maybe one question from genetics or osteology also the relevant osteology and um, systemic hemorrhology and systemic histology may be embedded with a long question in case of head and neck upper limb and brain and in paper 2 part 1 and part 2 the topics have not been divided but paper 2 will include gross anatomy of thorax abdomen pelvis lower limbs and their relevant systemic embryology systemic histology Okay, so general anatomy, general embryology, general histology and genetics is a part of paper one. But in paper two, apart from systemic embryology, systemic histology, you might also get a question on the relevant osteology also. And don't forget that clinical and applied anatomy is always welcome to write with any of the questions you get. You always have to mention about the clinical and applied anatomy of that question. Okay.